All aboard. Uh, you just we just heard the music from the temples. Mm -hmm. One of the most outstanding parts of India is their cuisine. Indian cuisine reflects the 5,000 year history of various groups and cultures interacting with the subcontinent, leading to diversity of flavors and regional cuisines found in modern day India. Later, trade with British and Portuguese influence added to the already diverse Indian cuisine. As the influence of the Western world grew stronger, the first McDonald's opened in India in 1996. Okay, you think this is a McChicken sandwich? Look at that. It's cheese. It's paneer. Look at that. Here we go. This is really good. Though they have the same name brand, restaurants work to accommodate and satisfy the taste buds of the locals. I really enjoyed the fact that in India they offer vegetarian options on their fast food menu. I don't understand why we don't have this in the U.S.
Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Look at that. I'm having Thanksgiving in India with my friend from France, and we're eating all vegetarian. Pretty amazing. Hope everyone's well. Happy Thanksgiving, America. Guess what I had for dessert? Malaria pills. Mmm. shit happening in the US and I'm more comfortable walking down the streets of India by myself. Go figure. Be safe out there. Sick of that shit.
Coffee, coffee. Chennai is the capital city of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Located off the Bay of Bengal, it's the biggest industrial and commercial center in South India. Chennai is also known as the Detroit of India for its automobile industry. It is the fifth largest and fourth most populous metropolitan area in the country. Look at this. Swan reporting live from India. Shit has hit the fan, everyone. Look at the road. We're supposed to get to the airport. We're two hours south of Chennai. Biggest storm in 20 years? 100 years. 100 years. What are we going to do? <laughs> the storm. This is crazy. America, I hope I see you again. <laughs> It is six o'clock in the morning. I can definitely say this India trip has been a hell of a trip.
So we called the U.S. Consulate and uh, they were going to try to help, but they're having problems just talking with the uh, Jet Airways. So right now they're putting a bunch of people on the bus to take them 10 hours, or like a 10 hour bus ride, to another airport in Bangladore. Bangladore. But uh, nobody has a ticket yet, so we're not comfortable flying or driving that far when there's no ticket promised. So we're going to stay here and drink coffee. I've got baby wipes, lots of water, hand sanitizer. I took toilet paper because I knew they'd run out. Got my sandwiches, uh, my malaria pills, got my uh, Revlon. But I know we're finally leaving the airport. We are getting out of the airport, going to downtown somewhere. This was my home for three days. Goodbye, airport. We are getting on the bus, going to downtown somewhere. Downtown. Dunk, 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 dunk